Welcome back to the channel, guys. Headlocked here today. The Mortal Kombat Deception series continues on. This is going to be an interesting playthrough. We're going to get to play with a character that we did not get a chance to see in Mortal Kombat 11. Her fate undetermined. Everybody says, Ah, oh, Malita's dead. There was like. Malina. I can't even remember how many versions of Melina were in Shang Tsung's Flesh Pits in Mortal Kombat 9, so. Just keep that in mind. They could bring Melina back anytime they wanted. I'm sure there's a million ways they could, but we'll see Melina again, I'm sure. But, rest in peace, Melina killed by Devor and MKX. Starting off against an interesting character here in Darius. He was actually really good in this game. Round one. Now, Fight. fighting the boss. <laughs> Let's see here. Fighting the bosses is going to be something else. Now, I'm trying to remember. Uh, that's not it. She does have that. Pretty standard moves. But I don't remember her. That's it. Okay. Malina wins. If her fighting stance looks familiar, that's because it would be given to Reiko in Mortal Kombat Armageddon. figure out what we're doing with her and can I get him over here there's no purpose, there's no purpose. um let me see here oh, I botched it wins. we botched it who's our I don't even remember who's next Ah, uh, another character making his debut in Mortal Kombat Deception. Our first opponent, Darius Darius, made his appearance, his first appearance in Deception. And our next opponent, Hataro, made his first appearance in Mortal Kombat Deception. That'll give us good placement. Excellent. Melina wins. Flawless victory. Round two. Now, she was against regular characters. She's a monster. She had quite amazing stuns, and uh, she was just a good character, uh, especially online. She had a lot of different mix ups and uh, overheads and things of that nature that could really do some damage. Good close-up of Baraka right there. I like the blend of cartooniness and realism. Round one. I like Fight. how you can see her teeth just slightly under her veil. Now that is a free grab. Computer can block it, obviously. I was hoping that knocked him through. Definitely punish you. Mid combo. Good to play on the, against the computer in certain aspects so you can see what combos are very unsafe. Very nice. Melina wins. Very nice. 
Mortal Kombat Deception, as I've said before, would see the introduction of Death Traps. The first time in the Mortal Kombat series where you could actually kill your opponent mid-match. And then they would come back for round two. Because no one ever really dies in Mortal Kombat. Round one. Fight! Boy, Nightwolf was great in this game. Which is that 22%? That is balls damage. If you time that right, that is a very good stun throw combination. That is pretty, pretty good on damage. Now, there's stuff that would work against a computer, a human opponent that was absolutely devastating online. Son of a... Alright. He killed himself. Harakiri. After I punched him in the face, I might add. Who we got next? It is time to switch our characters as well, guys. Shujinko. Let's see how we do against the, the computer, I think. I wonder if the computer already has all his special moves. If you don't have them unlocked. Excellent. Okay, that's pretty savage. Like I said, this game's fatalities. By today's standards, man, well, you can say what you want. I still think they look absolutely fantastic, and they are pretty freaking brutal. They have their own sense of brutality back then. Like, it's just, like, that, I, I, that was one of my favorite ones in this game. We're getting a lot of new characters in this tower. Have we gotten all new characters in this tower? I believe we have. And I've got to switch over to her alternate attire, but we're already going again. I don't want to screw up this. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. She is so beastly to play with. Fight. Fighting style dingus. Finish 
Excellent. Fantastic stuff. Now we're going to change our alternate attire as we get up to the sub boss here, Noob Smoke. Falling Cliff, perfect. Falling Cliff, a great stage that was introduced, introduced? <laughs> added and introduced in Mortal Kombat Deception. We would see it come back in Armageddon, but let's go back to the character select screen real quick. Introduced, there we go. New new word for you guys watching. Hashtag introduce. Melina. Highly doubtful we'll get that uh attire for Melina in Mortal Kombat 11. Smash that like button if you know what I'm talking about. I like Cyber Smoke, man. It's a shame we didn't get him. Now you can play a Cyber Smoke on his own with a uh, action replay max, but. He definitely doesn't feel like a complete character because he only has one fighting style. Oh, you don't see. For reals? Noob smoke wins. I wish I had my webcam on, webcam on right now so you could have seen my expression. Did you see that? It wasn't even on the ground. That's all right. Oh, no, 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 no. Melina wins. Round three. Fight. Combo interrupt. Free grab. Huh? Noob smoke wins. I don't even know what to say. Computer went full hamburger on us. Melina. I like this outfit. It's got like a classic. Her her veil is a very classic look, and uh, the rest of the outfit is you know is what it is. But I just thought like her hair and like the way her veil was was very classic kind of look. This dude. Round one, fight! <laughs> Ah, uh, fate's a cruel thing. Melina wins. Fight. 
Now, I don't want to spoil it, but uh, we would find out something very interesting about Noob that would be revealed in Mortal Kombat Deception. We'll get to his ending. We'll get to that later on in the series. Oh, get off my cliff. Very nice. Dragon King's Temple. Fantastic stage. This was one of my favorite stages in this game. You could just instantly be comboing your opponent and knock him off into a the wall of spikes around the outside, which is absolutely brutal. This is going to be a tough fight because we don't have a lot of... Uh, we don't have a lot of tools to work against them. Oh my gosh, I thought I had that. This is going a little bit better than I thought. He doesn't have the long combo that so can just chip away at his health. far away from a Kamidogu. That's not good. We need those Kamidogu in our life. There we go. There we go. We got good positioning. Nice work, Melina. I have no idea what her ending is. We're going to find out together in a second. If a boss doesn't explode in Mortal Kombat, is it even Mortal Kombat? I don't think... I don't know. Got a little broken tip of his horn. His eyeball's falling out. Wings all banged up. Because it was widely believed that Princess Katana had slain her many years ago, none were suspicious of the veil Malena wore to conceal her Tarkatan features. It was not difficult for her to assume the identity of the princess and take control of her alliance. To further conceal her deception, Malena gave command of the armies to Boraicho and instructed him to lead the attack against Baraka's diversionary forces. Baraka's militia had failed to divert the enemy, and to her surprise, was decimated by Boraicho's forces. She then realized that she was in control of the most powerful military force in Outworld and Edenia combined. She had finally achieved her true purpose, her destiny. But Melina could not continue her charade indefinitely, not as long as Baraka knew the truth. She ambushed him in the ancient beetle lair and fed him to a swarm of flesh-eating insects. All hail, Princess Katana. Oh, deep. Well, that was pretty cool. Well, once again, thank you for checking out another video in the Mortal Kombat Deception series. Smash that like button if you're enjoying this series. If you remember Mortal Kombat Deception, if you had the pleasure of playing this online, or just in general, back in the day when it was brand new and released, Mortal Kombat Deception really was kind of a turning point in Mortal Kombat where they were coming off of Deadly Alliance, which was a re-envisioning of the game, but it was good, but Deception took everything that was good about Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance and just made it incredible. And this game was so much fun. The online was incredible. Mortal Kombat Deception was the very first Mortal Kombat game to be released with online 
built into the game. So, very cool time to be a Mortal Kombat fan back then. I remember first going to a GameStop. I think it was actually EB Games at the time uh, in my local mall. And seeing Deception with a little PlayStation Online logo on the front, the box, and I remember thinking, I can't wait to buy that and play that online. That's going to be awesome. And it totally was. And it's still being played on online to this day on the private PlayStation 2 fan server. Very easy to get on. You just need a patched copy of the game to bypass the DNAS check. With that said, guys, I'm going to head out for now. Thank you for checking out another video in the series. Like I said, if you enjoyed, smash the like button. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to keep up with future videos, smash the bell for notifications. That way you won't miss a thing. Big shout out to all the subscribers on the page. Big shout out to all the members. Thank you very much. You guys are the true heroes of this effort. I appreciate and love each and every one of you. As always, guys, take care. Head locked out for now. I'll see you on the next vid. Take care, guys. Peace.